Hi, this is David Hoffman. I'm the business development manager here at Black Magic Design. We're here at NAB New York 2024. Wanted to walk through some of the uh, newest products that we've got on the market here. We introduced a couple new cameras at NAB uh, in Las Vegas back in April, and now we're shipping. So we wanted to kind of walk through those. We have them here on the booth. One here is the uh, the Pixis. This is our new box camera. This is a, uh, a 6K full frame 35 millimeter camera. We have it rigged out with one of our new monitors here that allows for uh, multi-monitor approach. The camera's got a few unique uh, capabilities to it. It's got a built-in monitor on the side, CFast recording, a, a uh, SDI output 4K for monitoring and recording, uh, reference and gen lock in, as well as a 10 gigabit ethernet port. So that allows for remote access to it. Has uh, built-in mounts on the top, on the bottom, but you can also have an interchangeable side plate here that will allow you to put in other uh, cheese plate for multiple mounting points. So talking about some of the other feature sets here within this camera, is a touchscreen on the side here, but this new monitor is a five inch touchscreen. It allows for you to control all the aspects of the camera from the, uh, from the touchscreen. It currently has a sun shield on it that can be folded up as a protection and then the camera folded down. All of the accessories that come for the, uh, the Ursa and the Pixis line are quick change. So I can uh, take this and just slide that off and take that off and put in a new uh, overhead handle or a uh, microphone mount and then put it back on, quick release and be ready to go again. Additionally on the side here are all the controls you need to record. It gives you all the monitor feedback on, on the uh, codec, frame rates, um, bit depth, and uh, color and tint. So the, the codec that you can record in is Blackmagic RAW. That codec is, is, uh, is pretty much allowing us to get a high resolution uh, imagery in RAW all the way through uh, the uh, pipeline with Resolve. So we, we, we are able to process the footage right off the sensor, deep air right off the sensor, record in Blackmagic RAW, which allows us then to apply the Gen 5 color science in Resolve. Um, and, and move it as uh, quickly from uh, acquisition to post-production and delivery as possible. Camera comes in an L mount, a PL mount, and an EF mount. This is currently the shipping model is the L mount. In addition to this product here, we have our new uh, Ursa Cine 12K uh, large format. So we'll uh, step on down there and take a look at that. Here we are over at the uh, Ursa Cine 12K LF camera. Now this camera has two sensors or two monitors built into it. It has a, uh, a, a, a DIT side built on this side with a pop-up screen, similar to the monitor that you saw as an external monitor that we had rigged up over on the Pixis. On the other side is a fold-out monitor that allows for me to have all the touch screen controls. I can run different sets of controls on the two different monitors. So if I have a focus polar over on the right-hand side and your traditional DP and director over on the left-hand side, they can be looking at and controlling different aspects of the record. This camera, uh, again, was announced at NAB and it's in, it's in production now. The mount at the top is gonna be uh, PL native, but you can get an EF uh, mount as well. All the accessories that you see here, uh, this is uh, gonna come with the camera if you buy the, uh, the, the EV, uh, EV version of the uh, camera. So this all comes packaged together, ready to shoot. Uh, the version right below this just does not have the, uh, the viewfinder, but it does come with everything else except for the battery. It's a B-mount battery. Uh, we also have Wi-Fi built into it and multiple uh, access ports for data and recording. This was one of the things from the, the, the EV, the electronic viewfinder, the EVF here. Um, this was kind of a big step for us, was going in and looking at, when we started developing this camera, we were looking at uh, all of the things that we had learned from our previous uh, line, the, the um, Ursa Mini Pro line. And what we found was flexibility was really key. And so we separated the electronic viewfinder. We were finding that people wanted the electronic viewfinder, but they wanted to be able to rig it up for different kind of configurations. If I'm on a uh, on a, an extended mount, or if I'm shooting from a blow or from a, above, I want to be able to have the flexibility to adjust that arm and do it very quickly with big controls that can lock down and adjust uh, infinitely to the way I want to shoot. 
So the quality is a, it's an OLED on the inside. I can run all the camera controls from the viewfinder. So I can start, stop, record. And I get all of the feedback that I see on the screens on the side in the viewfinder itself. So I can use this viewfinder with the Pixis as well. Uh, it connects up front here to a, uh, to a micro HDMI uh, USB-C connection. And then uh, additionally, the other big uh, advantage to using this camera is the, uh, the M2. So this is the media module. It ships with an eight terabyte media module. This media module is, uh, allows for us to get the high bandwidth of the 12K and then later is gonna be a 17K sensor because we have multiple, uh, multiple um, by 16 uh, PCIe Express uh, lanes here. So what that means is a really big throughput. And that was one of the things that we found with the Ursa Mini Pro was the restriction on how we move the data through the uh, module. So we designed our own module. This is using NVMe storage on the inside. This memory module can be pulled out and put in one of our docks and you can operate right off the, off the memory drive. I can also operate off the memory drive inside, well, it's inside the, uh, inside the camera. So if I have this in the camera and I'm connected with a uh, wirelessly or through the ethernet port that we have on the side here, I can actually edit video as it's coming in while I'm still shooting. So I have on set a, a uh, resolve station that's linked to this. I can actually edit video or edit footage that's coming into the drive. I don't have to pull that out and resynchronize. So that allows me a lot of flexibility of compressing the production process and the post-production process together as quickly as possible. Can you buy that? You yes. Buy that? Yep. The, uh, the eight terabyte, I believe, is coming in at around 1600 and the 16 terabyte is gonna come in right around 3000. Eight terabyte is 16 later, yep, yep. So that's, uh, that's the new Ursa Cine 12K uh, LF. Uh, and then uh, later this year, we'll be announcing the 17K, which is gonna use the same form factor. This is a new form factor for us. It's gonna build into a future life cycle of the cameras uh, that we're gonna be building the 17K. And then we also have what's called the immersive camera. That's gonna be a 3D camera that we announced at, uh, in June with Apple, uh, the WWDC event that they had. So that's gonna use the same 17K sensor with, uh, with that split in two to give us two 8K uh, 3D uh, imagery coming off the lens.